day on the net. Emotional reactions online to the death in Niger of French hostage Michel Germano. In India, a Facebook application to lighten men's skin tone creates controversy. And a parody of the film Fight Club wins over 200,000 clicks in two days. Michel Germano is dead. The French hostage kidnapped in Niger on the 19th of April and held by the terrorist group Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb was killed on Sunday by his captors. The news was confirmed on Monday by French President Nicolas Sarkozy and has generated a highly emotional reaction on the web. Many web users have wished to pay tribute to the retired engineer who was a volunteer aid worker in Sahel. Messages are multiplying on social networks like Twitter from shocked citizens expressing their sadness over the death of Germano. This intense emotion is shared by residents in his hometown of Marcoussi in the outskirts of Paris. An announcement has been made on the town hall's website saying that the town is in mourning. A page has been set up on which web users can leave their messages of condolence. The emotion surrounding Germano's death has been heightened by the fact that many web users have been campaigning for his freedom. His friends in particular had taken part in an online campaign on the website otagedumonde.com, in which they talk of how the retired Frenchman had dedicated his life to helping those less fortunate than he, and that his detention did not make any sense. He loved people, so when he retired, instead of staying at home, he wanted to get involved in humanitarian work. Meanwhile, Germano's humanitarian battle continues despite his death. On their website, the organization he worked for, Enmilal, which means help one another in Tuareg, is encouraging the continuation of the actions that Germano took part in, supporting the education of Sahel's children and raising money for building schools. In India, a Facebook application has been set up for men who want to lighten their skin color on their profile picture in just a few clicks. This tool was launched by a cosmetics brand and has sparked controversy on the local blogosphere. Indeed, this controversial practice, already used by many women, is now attracting the male sex. According to the figures on the Facebook page, this application is used by around 15,000 people per month. On his blog, this Indian advertising executive says that in India, men are becoming increasingly concerned with their physical appearance. And the idea that having a lighter skin tone, a deep-rooted obsession in Indian culture, makes them more attractive. According to a 2009 investigation by the online matrimonial services agency Shadi.com, most people think skin color is the most important factor when choosing a partner. This Indian man says many sectors favor people with fairer skin, in the media for example and the television in particular. He says the new advert on Facebook will only reinforce the stereotypes linked to color and caste. Many angry web users have decided to protest via this online petition. Objective? Fight the commercialization of products aimed at reducing melanin in several months. They see these products as racist. And certain countries in Asia and Africa share this notion of beauty that favors light skin, associating it with a higher social class. This report, broadcast online by Radio Canada, shows how Senegalese women put their lives in danger by using products that can be toxic. <laughs> The online printing company, The Book Edition, has just finished work on their collaboration with France's National Library, the BNF. Objective? Propose the printing of books and documents digitized by Gallica, the BNF's online platform. Readers have over 500 royalty-free works to choose from. The cost of printing will depend on the format and the number of pages. Facebook now has over 500 million users. And to celebrate, the social network has launched Facebook Stories, a writing project inviting users of the site to explain in 420 characters or less why Facebook has changed their life. 200 stories will initially be selected to appear on the site. As of this morning, I'm happy to announce that 500 million of you all over the world are actively using Facebook. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. What? A female version of Fight Club set in the 18th century. This fake trailer, called Jane Austen's Fight Club, has been clicked on over 200,000 times in two days. The heroines of the English author's Pride and Prejudice create an underground fight club, like the David Fincher film Fight Club. Punches and injuries are on the menu for tea time. Whoosh.